Hey, we're back at the Cambrian Burbank. Guess what? I've got Mark with me, Senior Vice President of Cambria Choice Hotels and their upscale brands. Mark, congratulations. Beautiful hotel. Thanks, my man. Craig, appreciate you having me. Our pleasure. Tell us about the journey with this. Because this was a long development process, but I got to tell you, just being here for the first time, I think it's paid off for you guys. Um, absolutely. Look, uh, developing a hotel is, is no easy task, and yeah. particularly in the state of California, the entitlement process can be prolonged, but if you stick with it uh, and patience and perseverance, you can deliver some great product, and that's yeah. what we're celebrating today at our grand opening. I love it. You know, you've got an outstanding management team here for you with 24-7 hotels. The design, the open airiness, the welcome that you feel when you come through the front doors. I think that's a hallmark for you guys. Now, granted, certain areas, you know, the buildings are a little bit different, sure. but this is just, I think this is California to a T. Uh, we appreciate that. And, that. and this is exactly what we're trying to deliver, yeah. that warm sort of embrace to the guests as they come in from their travelers, maybe a little weary from a long flight. Right. They want to feel comfortable and welcome. They want to look around the lobby and see all the amenities in one shot. So that's, yeah. we have this open design concept in the lobby that, that really resonates with the guests. Um, and, you know, look, the one thing that's really sort of differentiated Cambria, I think, through the years is the flexibility we provide our developers to really design to the market and pull what's cool, unique, relevant uh, through the lobby of the hotel and deliver that authentic experience to the guests. I think so. And, you know, I think also part of the upside, too, is the involvement with you guys. You know, you've got key money involved. Sure. You're helping them source the dirt. You're helping them with the entitlement process. You're helping them with getting the right management team involved if, if, if they're not an experienced operator. Absolutely. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm assuming let's throw insurance in there and a few other <laughs> items that you're, you're- Whatever it takes. You're, you're, we'll you're helping out. them out with. Yeah. And that's, see, that, that shows me a flexibility with a brand that is sorely needed right now. You guys, you know, are there for the owner operators. You're, you get it that you're, you're a partner, right? Okay. Their success is your success, and vice versa. And unfortunately, there's some people out there that kind of forgot that. Yeah, I think you know, I think you hit the nail on the head when you said partner. We every one of our, we don't just sell franchise agreements. Yeah. We enter into partnerships, yeah. uh, long-standing partnerships with our franchisees and our owners, and it's a collaboration, sure. uh, yeah. and it needs to be successful. Um, so yeah, what, whatever it might be, whatever type of support, whether it's financial support, uh, Amber's uh, committed close to seven hundred and fifty million dollars of corporate balance sheet support to Cambria to date. Uh, most of those dollars go in as direct investments with our owners. Yeah. Um, in addition, we're doing some um, selective uh, development on our own balance sheet. Yeah. Um, we're an asset light model, which is right. really important. The goal is to build these hotels, get them ramped, and then sell them to an owner, maybe an yeah. investor, um, in return for a long-term uh, franchise agreement, and then recycle that capital and do it all over again. Yeah. So we're supplementing our franchise growth with some very selective um, growth on the balance sheet, and that combination has really allowed us to uh, continue. Uh, I love that idea. Now you've also, do you have in-house brokers? Is that I'm not, I'm not, I don't know. So, um, or you contract. in a time prior, we, we had some folks that would go out and, and look, go out, we actually yeah. secure the site, bring it through some level of, of entitlement or due diligence, and then find an owner and kind of play matchmaker. Uh, when COVID hit, uh, that became a lot more difficult to, to do. Uh, but now we rely on a, a very robust broker network, uh, folks uh, nice. on the field that uh, bring opportunities to us and then we bring those to our developers. Very good. Now, I'm going to change gears a little bit right here. You guys had an outstanding development meeting last night down in Newport Beach. Yes. Thank you for holding it down there. <laughs> <laughs> not a bad spot, right? No, no, not, not a bad place at all. That's why I moved from here to down there. There you go. But, you know, you had a lot of good people in there that high net worth, some owner operators, some management people, some other third parties in there. And you gave them some great information. You've got 74 Cambrias open now. You've got others in various states of construction. And I think Denver's possibly the next one that's going to open. Absolutely. Um, and then you've got a few others. So you're going to hit that critical mass of 100 pretty quickly. And, you know, I, I think everybody's pulling for you on that right sure, now. It's just sure. like, yeah, you know, everybody's happy. 
Um, but you know, I was really impressed with the information that you were putting out there. It wasn't a lecture. It was informative. It was casual, but it was direct. Right. It does, that's sort of sense how we've, to you? we've grown the brand. We've yeah. tried to work with regional development communities, yeah. and, and whether it's the West Coast, the Southeast, uh, Midwest, there's a group of it, there's small uh, small world type situations where yeah. all these people have done deals or know the same people, and so we try to get those people in the room nice. together nice. in a casual environment. Let it was really for them to network and yeah. uh, make connections, and then yeah. If we're gonna pay for the alcohol. We want to <laughs> provide a little bit of information on the yeah, brand, yeah. which we did. But you know, like you said, not not in the preach way, more just in form of what we're doing in the progress. And yeah. like you said, we're we're at uh, uh, 74 hotels on our way to 75. We've got 20 hotels under active construction, and another 65 in the pipeline. Wow, working through congratulations! Entitlement. So you know, if we can get a little break from the capital markets on the cost of debt. Yeah. We're really going to even see that uh, development accelerate. So. I, you know, you and I had a little bit of a conversation about that last night, and I think we are. And you know, whether I've been saying for six months, I think that we're going to have three cuts. Uh, I, I may soften that to two, uh, but the Fed is still making noise. That <laughs> From your lips to Jerome Powell's ears, yeah, right? Yeah. And hopefully that happens. Happens, and I, I think we're going to get the first one next 30, 45 days possibly a little bit outside that window, uh, but it's coming. Now, you know, just looking at older cycles, when you've got a presidential election, and if they've been monkeying around with the interest rates, you know you have, uh, you know, it's always the, 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 the party that's in power takes credit for it just before the election. So, you know, I mean, I lived through double digit interest rates, unemployment, and inflation in the 70s and saw the whole market crash on yeah, both sides, it whether it was really... Wall Street or real estate. <laughs> and, you know, we had to get creative. You just can't shut that off. It's, it, it kills the country uh, and global economies. So I, th I think what you're saying, the one thing that stands true over time in this, yeah. in this industry, more so than maybe others, is it's cyclical. Right? Yeah. And, and you really yeah. see the, the brilliance and the talent of the people within the hospitality right. industry and the way they adapt. Yeah. Uh, create new instruments you know, for debt or equity or yep. we talked a little bit last night about yeah. the creativity that allows these projects to move forward and yeah. regardless of what whatever ever cycle there is because at the end of the day there's more demand for hotel rooms yeah. and we need more hotels and so uh, these developers are going to find ways to get those done they do and you know what I, I made the transition over to hospitality close to 29 years ago and I yeah, have an extensive career in commercial real estate different food groups but our particular sector is the brightest and the best. You know, it's your, your owner operators that understand that it's, you know, a twofold business, it's a 24 hour lease, and it's a real estate play. And you've got to merge the two. Sure. You've got to have them both hitting on all eight cylinders. And we get creative, and we, we've got the brightest and the best, whether it's on the brokerage side, third party reports, management, brands, you know. It, 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 and we've got the best people. You know, we're out there and we, when we talk to the, the true smart money investing yeah. in this investment, the thing they love about the hospitality uh, asset class, particularly in downturns, is exactly what you said. One, they get to reprice the cost of their lease every yeah. night, yeah. so it's super flexible. Yeah. And then traditionally, the hospitality industry, hotels, and different segments within the hotel and, uh, industry have provided the highest returns, yeah. right? And consistently yeah. over time. So. Uh, even when things slow down, you see things like retail and residential and office slow down. A lot of capital that's driven a lot of capital to our space. So it's, uh, it's a good spot to be in. Gotta love it. Hey, thank you for the time. Thanks a lot, Congratulations. Thank you so much. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. We're going to see you in another interview soon. Thanks, guys.